kinetic theory solids liquids and gases in solids strong forces of attraction between particles particles are packed very closely together in a fixed and regular pattern atoms vibrate in position but can't change position or move solids have a fixed volume shape and high density in liquids weaker attractive forces in liquids than in solids Particles are close together in an irregular, unfixed particles can move and slide past each other which is why liquids adopt the shape of the container they're in and also why they are able to flow liquids have a fixed volume but not a fixed shape and have a moderate to high density. In gases, no intermolecular forces, particles are in random movement and so there is no defined pattern particles are far apart and move quickly, around 500 meters per second, in all directions. They collide with each other and with the sides of the container. This is how pressure is created inside a can of gas. No fixed volume. Since there is a lot of space between the particles, gases can be compressed into a much smaller volume. Gases have low density. Exam tip solids, liquids and gases have different physical properties. The difference in these properties comes from differences in how the particles are arranged in each state. States of matter. State changes. Melting. Melting is when a solid change into a liquid. Requires heat energy which transforms into kinetic energy, allowing the particles to move. Occurs at a specific temperature known as the melting point, M. P. Which is unique to each pure solid. Boiling. Boiling is when a liquid changes into a gas. Requires heat which causes bubbles of gas to form below the surface of a liquid allowing for liquid particles to escape from the surface and within the liquid occurs at a specific temperature known as the boiling point, B. P, which is unique to each pure liquid. Freezing. Freezing is when a liquid changes into a solid this is the reverse of melting and occurs at exactly the same temperature as for melting. Hence the melting point and freezing point of a pure substance are the same. Water for example freezes and melts at zero C requires a significant decrease in temperature, or loss of thermal energy, and occurs at a specific temperature that is unique for each pure substance. Evaporation when a liquid changes into a gas. Evaporation occurs only at the surface of liquids where high energy particles can escape from the liquid's surface at low temperatures, below the B. P. of the liquid the larger the surface area and the warmer the liquid, surface. The more quickly a liquid can evaporate no heat is required and evaporation occurs over a range of temperatures. Condensation. When a gas changes into a liquid, usually on cooling. When a gas is cooled its particles lose energy and when they bump into each other they lack the energy to bounce away again. Instead they group together to form a liquid no energy is required for condensation to occur and it takes place over a range of temperatures sublimation. When a solid changes directly into a gas this happens to only a few solids such as iodine or solid carbon dioxide the reverse reaction also happens and is also called sublimation. Sometimes called deposition or desublimation. Sublimation occurs at a specific temperature which is unique for a pure substance.